Love, love, love it if we beat them. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, Jabs. Cheers. Oh. Right. Good evening. This is episode 105 of the Touchline Ramp podcast. Um, for those who are not aware, we talk football and other related good philosophy. Things. Philosophy sometimes. Special episode this week. It's this week, special. we're sponsored mm. by the Young Young Ones Clubs um, tonight. They are. Are we? Yeah. Ask me who they are. Who are the Young Ones Clubs? Right. They uh, they provide school holiday clubs for five to twelve year olds, um, focused on fitness, health, wellness, things of that nature. Young Ones with their community. It, it's they're really. It's like you're reading that. Visit the website youngwinsclubs.co.uk. Manchester United versus Arsenal. Introduce a special feature this week called Kind Corner. Kind Corner. Kind, kind Corner. Club? No, Kind. Yeah, Kind Club. It's a, I prefer Kind Club. Okay, it's a Kind Club. We're going to open up. We're going to have our own special little club, and it's called Kind Club. Chat is Lee. Bit of your corner then, isn't it? Around that. Get some listener feedback in as well. What are you saying like that for? Um, I'm not. I'm going to just play the music. Hey, they said it's offside hit. My, I didn't. They did twice hit me. Bob that. That's why Dan Foster. It's a joke. They've gone about var this, var that. Help the officials out. Clearly, they need help. Clearly, we play in the Premier League, the best league in the world, the most watched league in the world. I give them all the help they need because clearly they cost us two points a day. It's a joke. Put all that to bed. This week worked hard. Come here to get three points. We deserve three points today. We've been let down by the officials. That's why we didn't get three points. I can't... Well, your anger basically tells the whole story, doesn't it? Your Arsenal, my Manchester United, yeah. face off at Old Trafford a genuinely don't see how Man United beat them. And that's you. I genuinely don't see how Man United that's beat them. That's Mr Sunshine talking. I, I hate this negativity because it, what, what, does it, what does it actually do for you? What does it actually yeah, do? Yeah, no, the problem that you've got is, you There's know... There's a major difference between how United operate and okay. how Arsenal operate. Jesse Lingard is the player that you go, hang on a minute, he should have a bit more than potential now at 27. He, with Arsenal, the problem is always the same thing. It's the defence... That's it. The defence is a problem. But this is where it'll be fine. Man United don't have an attack. I think David Luiz will probably bang one in now from 40 yards against United. Also, there's a difference, there's a contrast between how you, if, we, if we're pairing up United and Arsenal, how Arsenal have actually performed in Europe as well as United getting scraping a 1-0 and winning Kazakhstan. Yeah, look, yeah, look, yeah, look, yeah, look. There's, is, is there's a, a lot of similarities. There's a good hefty contrast on Arsenal's side and you've got to say they've got the momentum, but... What Arsenal are you going to get? Which defence would you prefer right now? United's or Arsenal's? United's defence. you kidding me. No, United's defence. With Tooney coming back, Bellerin coming back into the fold, Holden looking great, Chambers, yep. big shout out for Chambers recently. Yep. You prefer United's defence over Arsenal's right now? Yes. And I'd prefer the rest of the Arsenal squad over the rest of the Man United squad. I think it'll probably be a draw. I think so. Uh, I think Arsenal win. Well. I do. Um, let's leave it on Will that. Will you be Obama Yanged? <laughs> Probably. Probably. Yeah. Download and subscribe to a touchline rant. Refresh two weeks, come back, big game away to Fulham. We're talking Premier League. Sheffield United are a good side, aren't they? Manager's name. Oh, don't be throwing manager's names at me now, because now I can't think of his name. I like him because he's never, ever happy. He's never happy. Um, What's his name? That's going to kill when, me. When they win, it's still a case of, yeah, but what's the point? Life, the eternal <laughs> struggle. Everything is wrong. It's like he hates it more when they win. Sheffield United have been one of the surprise packages, at least for me, because Chris Wilder. Imagine for now you are a Spurs player, yeah? You're a professional footballer at Spurs. 
you get a text message from WhatsApp. Uh, from yeah you get a whatsapp then from Kyle Walker who says mate I'm earning a lot more money over here and I'm winning trophies like you should come you should go to and you're thinking oh no Look, what incentive what well, this is my question what incentive is there for a Spurs player to remain at Spurs I think it's really harsh on, I genuinely on, on I don't Spurs see players. what is Ericsson needs to get Ericsson it's needs Poch. to yeah well Poch I think Poch is if, okay, it, playing for Poch. I do you want to without okay. him. Here's, let what me get into my do? get into my theory. This is my theory. You got I think Poch would go right now. I think it's fundamentally harsh to say that after the season they had last year, and to show margins in sport. Well, I think they're look, exhausted. How, how close? Well. I think yeah, they're you exhausted. said that at the beginning of last season as well, because the because the Champions, Champions League as well. But what I'm saying is. You're being harsh on Spurs because of the season they had last year. They were a whisker away from lifting the Champions League final. There's you have, that has to have gravitas. I'm sorry. Oh well, yeah, it does. But they are. Being, you can't they just have say poor because they're in the blip. They're they're poor and they're, they're terrible. I'll throw it one more game then. Oh, we've exhausted this. Now. One more game. Wolves versus Watford. I think this will be the. A, uh, Is this where a, Wolves get the first win? A bounce back Wolves. I, well, look, they they, do a fine. bounce back. They haven't won yet this season. Bounce back ability. They they're still bouncing back from last season. I've bounced, they they've bounced back. They haven't. They haven't won a game. They have. They bounced back. Don't worry about Wolves. They'll be fine. Wow. You're Watford. worrying. You're In. worrying. Don't. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Cheers. Oh, sweet. Sorry. <laughs> What with this one? Here you're going to have a bag. Thanks. Thanks, Jabs. Cheers. Oh. Ah, yay, yay. Okay. Thanks. <coughs> oh. Welcome to Kind Club. Kind Club is a culmination of all the kind, happy things in the football world and beyond. My eight-year-old daughter created Kind Club, Sydney. Have, Have some, some of that. happiness and spring. Go on then, what do you want to talk about? Give me some positivity. Uh, some positivity is in the shape of Roma. They have a hell of a lot of followers on mm -hmm. the social media. Yeah, so their Twitter is, is, is booming. Yeah. Uh, and they get a lot of coverage, especially when they sign players like Chris Smalling. They push uh, a, a missing persons link when they when they do when they introduce a player. So yeah. Chris Smalling, like I was just about to say, when he got announced, uh, he got announced on social media. Half the screen was Chris Smalling's lovely, beautiful face, all happy, smiling, and then there's a yeah. missing child on the other side of it. So it maximised the image. And it's a bit of good news, good bit of good, good and bad news. But what it does, it, it, it creates a lot of buzz because it gets retweeted and pushed out there, liked and everything. And because of that, the three children, three players, so they signed three children who they uh, were looking for, yeah. uh, were all found because of... That's a, they, that's maybe it's because of that. Maybe they just found them. I don't know the stats. But yeah, it's nice that they were featured and a lot of people But it's utilising social media. Yeah, it's utilising social media in, in a positive in, way. In a positive to way. do something positive. And it's, and it's a kind thing. Cause it, it is kind. It's that's why we're going to... That's my little That's bit. why they're the first entrant into um, our new <clears> Kind <throat> Club. So um, welcome into Kind Club. Thank you very much. Be a member of Kind Club. Be a member of Kind Club. Just be kind. <laughs> Galatasaray. Love, love, love it if we beat them. Love, love, love it if we beat them. Love, love, love it if we beat them. Right, it's that time of the week which we haven't had for a while. Um, we've been busy recently. No one's bothered. But yeah, thank you very much for the feedback this week. It's been, yeah. I genuinely don't think you do the Rashford thing. I think it's, it's niche. It's so terribly dated. It is niche, right? People remember it for one thing, but two, I, I still don't think it's a, it's a. But it's not based on him. You don't know that. It could be loosely. It's definitely based on him in some capacity. It's not based it on totally him in any way. It totally is. It. The FIFA have said it's not. Oh but... yeah, they have to say it's not because guess what? <laughs> Rights. Okay, if not, right. they've definitely, definitely, definitely 
taken inspiration from that situation. You forget what Rashford actually did in his, in his rise to fame. You, f you overlook that of what he's achieved at 21. Do you know? His rise triggered... That's what he did as well. Yeah. His rise triggered the whole fact that you could be an overnight sensation. That's the impact of Rashford. That's what I was trying to say. That's what it relates to, because it relates back to our youth, youth thing. Something you forget about Rashford and what, you, what he's actually achieved. It's too easy to go, uh, he's got technical ability. He's very interesting to watch. He's on penalties. He rarely, he rarely misses once in a while. He's only been on penalties this season. Pogba was on it. Yeah, he's only 21. Uh, an extremely different background to Rashford. Rashford was just 17, bang, he's in the first team at United. Yeah. And he scored. It's rise to fame. He scored the winner in his first Premier League game, his first Europa League game, his first FA Cup game, and his first Carabao Cup game. Yeah. He scored the winner in all of them. Yeah. However, Jose Mourinho has then said it's indicative of the club and how badly they have developed players since Alex Ferguson left. That Mark of Rashford, he was like, if Alex Ferguson had been manager of Rashford when he was 17, he was like, by the time he reaches 22, he's lethal. He was like, he'd be lethal. He's a lethal striker, but he has not had the development. Oh, I don't know if you can just pinpoint that on that. Like, it, it's down to pot luck and chance. Yeah. Love, love, love it if we beat them. Yeah. Yes. Really? Yes. End. Finn. It's not recording. End. Finn. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Finished. Finn. Don't forget to check out our Instagram and our Twitter and our Facebook at Touchline Rant. Don't Hit forget. Us up on there, get in touch. Don't forget the YouTube where you'll the see. The YouTube. You can, if you go onto YouTube now, you'll see like limited edition coverage yeah. of a Rashford rant. Never before seen. Maybe not now. It depends on when they go on it, to be honest. If they go straight on it, they won't. They can find it and locate a Rashford rant. You have to edit it first. I've done it. Done it. He's done it. He's Rashford done it. rant. If okay. you go over to the YouTube, which we did, we left out of this edition. T yeah, okay. So there is Rashford a Rashford rant. We did do a separate section just for we've our got, YouTube channel. We've got channel. some so new go things. Kind Club. New things. And and Rashford rant exclusive YouTube only content it's been an exciting yeah. week mm, I know. first sponsor a lot of lot ins a lot of outs there's not Gary a lot of ins and outs it's all about the ins and outs isn't it um, we are now wrap it up anything? wrap it up there uh, say about the shirts ok yeah with this this enthusiasm week. sell it we are very Why? happy and proud to be sponsors this week this season and the upcoming five seasons of uh, CSKA Sophia Gardens football team. We have Sunday League, Lazarou League. In the Lazarou League in Cardiff, they have they are they are a great side. We are sponsoring them. We're really proud to be sponsoring them. They will be featuring more on this podcast throughout the season. So you can buy the shirt. You they're getting on to that now, so ruining yeah. my tapestry that I'm building. They will be coming on, you will be meeting them. You've already met Jordan. Um, you'll be meeting more of them it's exciting times awesome. and uh, the new studio is exciting times here but the most exciting thing is we're selling the shirt because it's so why would we do why the hell would anyone do that because it's bloody beautiful for one it's a beautiful shirt uh, go check it out on a touchline run at a touchline run on Instagram and it's, it's all those shirts it's all there yeah for go over there buy it all profit made from the shirt the important bit is going to the wallet sale yeah, so if you buy a shirt, they're 25 quid, all of the profit made from that goes to the wallet. Um, they're a great charity. Make sure you support and them. And thanks for our sponsor this week. Yeah, thank you very Welsh much for our sponsors. Young Ones Clubs, Welsh Ice members. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yes. We are now going to leave you for a week. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah, we sure. are. We'll see you in a week. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.